But I thought, you know, for Joria's livestream show match debut, it made a lot of sense to put him against Monkey Moon here. I saw that um, Monkey Moon is online. I thought, oh, that would be a really good game because Monkey Moon made that exact same switch, uh, although not as recently. So two and a half weeks ago, Joria switched from from PS4 and he's already rank one in 1v1. Obviously, when you've got a new account, you can rank up more quickly, but it's still very impressive. And he never, I don't think, reached close to rank one when he was on PS4. Um, but of course, with the higher frame rate, and the reduced input lag that you get from playing on PC, players will just get better um, purely by switching. So all of you guys on PS4, if you if you really want to get serious uh, with Rocket League, you probably want to uh, you want to make that switch. He got top ten a few times. Yeah, there you go. So top ten for Darius on PS4. Switch to PC, rank one in in two weeks. One bat stud. Thanks to the two month prime. Welcome to the stream. And also thanks to Andrew Griffin for joining the YouTube channel. Appreciate you uh, becoming a member over there. Welcome. Uh, but let's get into this one. Jordi's debut. He's already said that he's nervous. The Monkey Moon's far from a debut player by now. Let's see if he can punish Jordi's for any mistakes that could be happening. It's not the best save by Monkey Moon. This is going to keep Jordi's in offense. That's a better one. And Monkey Moon saved his boost pretty well here. Early challenge and a boost secure in the back corner will turn over the possession for him. Decided to go down the line. Doesn't have too much space to work with. And Jory is with a good uh, piece of shadow defending himself. So from what I saw earlier, um, I was watching Jory's stream for the first time today. Just because I knew that he was going to be playing on stream, uh, on my stream later. Um, we're both EU players, by the way. Um, but yeah, what I saw was pretty just standard play all around. Just very solid and standard. So expect to see... Um, you know, not like a really aggressive playstyle, not a really passive playstyle. He's not like going to be, you know, defending 24-7 like Flakes. He's not going to be attacking 24-7 like Calm, but he's going to be somewhere in the middle and he's really good at it. Very difficult player to beat because he's just, you know, kind of the jack of all trades. That's a fantastic save on Monkey Moon's air dribble bump attempt. And he's going to switch over to the right hand side here, set up the hook shot. I love that. This is going to be so difficult to save. Monkey Moon will save it. And he saved up a lot of boost while doing so. That's great defense by Monkey Moon. Something we've come to expect from him. Um, and out of the two players, I think Monkey Moon is probably the more defensive. Look at that stop on the goal line from the point blank range air dribble. Then Monkey Moon is trying to hook shot this one in. And he will tie things up with a low shot to the bottom right corner. This could be um, a good little taster for what is to come in this series. Monkey Moon getting clutch saves and hitting Jorias in the counter. Will Jorias be able to pick his spots wisely and um, prevent the counter attacks from coming in too often? And again, thanks for two months, tier three. So good to finally be able to get in on the stream sub lover after so many hours watching YouTube. Uh, man, I really appreciate that. Everybody um, who swings by from YouTube to support the stream that's really kind of you and thanks for the tier three two month in a row i've got you back in the list there um monkey moon actually just got totally faked here and Jorias with a walk-in goal it's a nice little challenge there by Jorias. he just absorbed the um the challenge really well the monkey moon is trying to bring in now that's something that i was seeing a lot from Jorias when he was streaming earlier plenty mind games and not always just, you know, forcing opponents to whiff, but often just getting them to compromise their positioning or their recovery um, on a landing. Monkey Moon will tie things up again, though. This time he does connect with the air dribble bump. Rossi uh, FCKNB, thanks to the five-month prime. Welcome back. Really appreciate that, man. You think it's easy for Jordia's Lamau? Well, it's not looking easy right now. He's having to really work hard for this one. I'm sure he wouldn't want it to be easy. He's wanted a show match debut for a while, but now that he's at rank one, I think there's a pretty good time to um, see what he can do here. Monkey Moon at rank four, though, is not too far behind, and he's got so much experience to draw upon. Jory is a bit frustrated there with his decision-making. He's the one who's dove in, and he got taken out of the game. Hey, Wickerman Willow, thanks for the Prime brand new. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Jorias was a PlayStation player, and of course, a controller player. Now that he switched over to Steam, I don't, I don't know anyone who changed to keyboard and mouse after switching to Rocket League from a console. That just doesn't make any sense at all to do that. 
Jory is in a bit of an awkward position here. He's keeping up the pressure. A little wave dash sound fake. The assistant telling Monkeyman that he might be coming in, but Monkeyman's defense is holding up again, and that's a great counter attack. It is exactly what we expected Monkeyman to be doing. Just get a save, and before Jorias can position in a really effective spot defensively, just turn things over into the orange half. Will it ever make a 2v2 version of the lore games? I don't imagine so, no. Um, but you never know. The 2v2 matches I've really enjoyed the most on my stream are the international ones. So if I ever run a 2v2 tournament, it would probably be something to do with that. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of work goes into those, so I've not got any plans to do it right now. I've just got too much uh, other stuff on the go in the next couple of months. But uh, maybe towards the end of this year or the start of next one, we can we can get something underway. A see-through hero, thanks to the Twitch Prime. Monkey is starting to run away a bit with this one. In fact, it's going to be 6-2 here. Jorias is, is really getting bullied under a lot of pressure after multiple kickoffs. And he's falling here apart a bit you. defensively. Keep up the great content less than three. Angry Mob Justice, thanks for two months, Pride. Thanks for swinging by from YouTube as well. I, uh, I appreciate the reminder because yeah, the Twitch Prime subs don't auto renew, so if you want to get streaks going, you've got to come back every month, and that is hard to remember. I'm pretty bad at it, and I'm on Twitch all the time. Always forget to use my Twitch Prime. Monkey Moon. Gonna get caught in the landing gear, but he's just jumped straight off Jorius' car and continued defending effectively. Such a difficult player to score lots of goals against Monkey Moon. Jorius not feeling confident with the flick. He just drops it underneath. Monkey Moon's gonna make it 7 2 again on a counter attack. This is. Uh, Really, really good stuff on the counter from Monkey Moon. Yeah, Jorias is uh, definitely got what it takes to come back here. He's got a solid kickoff himself, so the pressure could result in five goals. As time's ticking away, that possibility gets smaller and smaller. Jorias is trying to turn things around early, give himself a chance at this one. Oh, and Monkey Moon's going to help him in here. That shot was way over the bar, but. Monkey Moon has misread it and tried to get a touch anyway. He might already know that this is over, but wants to get a touch on the ball after it bounces off the bar just to stick it into the corner, not letting it rebound out. But now Jorias has half a chance here. Can he make anything work on this first face-off? Monkey Moon ball chasing. Effective way to waste time, even though he will concede possession. Block is ticking away. Four goals in it. Jorias almost gets one over the top, but those double jump pops have yet to be successful. Monkey Moon getting up high enough. And of course the danger with the double jump pop is when you get the ball past your opponent, there's a decent chance that they're going to hit you because you've just put your car where the ball used to be in order to get it past him. 20 seconds left, it's now or never for Jorias, and away he goes across the field. Aerial attempt, and he's going to maybe get it under. No, Monkey Moon in and out and right down to the ground. To keep things locked up in defense. Great stuff from him uh, at the blue end of the field. Such a impressive player in goal and in the challenge game. And he switched things up pretty well, I would say. Not too much shadow defending, not too much ball chasing, just the perfect medium. And he kept Jorias guessing for the entire five minutes. Yeah, there's a, a tough game one for Jorias. He's, uh, if you didn't already know it, I'm sure he does already know. But if he didn't, then he does certainly now know that Monkey Moon's defense is not to be messed with. You have to be so careful not to overextend when you're attacking into Monkey Moon. Because you're probably going to need to shoot two, three, four times before you eventually get the ball past him. And if you overextend on Sam any of those shots so that he's going to save, Johnny. he'll score in your goal without any issues. Master F, that's, uh, F, that's me. Thanks for the three month tier one. Did I say that right? Sam versus OCE, who wins? Uh, probably South America right now. They look the more impressive at the RLCS World Championship Season 7. Um, the, R the Rocket League Championship Series World Championship. What am I on about? Uh, Chunky Lover and is Bark05. Thanks to the Prime subs. Lots of new Prime subs today. I appreciate that, guys. Thanks for using that in my stream. You can, of course, use it anywhere. Jorio's getting shut down at the near post again. You know, although it didn't work earlier, I, I would love to see him using space like he did earlier, uh, switching to the side of the field that Monkey Moon can't shadow from. So Monkey Moon's shadow defense is really scary. It's 
Nice save by Jari as he came off the goal line to make himself as big as possible. He's forced into the air by Monkey bing, Moon's bing, bing, presence. Bing, bing, bing. Monkey Moon with a heavy hit to the backboard is going to send him back to the halfway line. Jari is thinking about going off the wall, and he will fake a wall hit into the air twice. And now the air dribble, and he's got it past Monkey Moon. And that is new because... Every time he's going for straight pops and little short air dribbles like this, Monkey Moon usually gets a save on it, but this time, Jory has got it over his head, 2-1. Uh, Andre FDS, thanks for 10 month Prime, welcome back, and also brand new Prime from Slitno, welcome to the stream, dude. Really appreciate that. Norway versus Finland 2v2, yeah, perhaps, I'm, I'll have to get in touch with those guys at some point. Um, this uh, next month or so, no, maybe not a month, the next like three weeks or so, I'm... Um, not quite as busy as I was with uh, Dreamhack Valencia last, or this, earlier this month. So we should have plenty casting on stream to look forward to. Monkey Moon could get an easy goal here, and he's going to birdie it right down the middle. 3-2, plenty of kickoff goals and really one-sided kickoff pressure plays in game number two. And usually, if you're ahead by a couple goals, you don't want that to be happening. You'd rather the game go to a big extended period of midfield play where you can get the time off the clock. This is more promising for Jordia, so back and forth is certainly going to favor him here with a one goal lead. It's not going to favor him though. Wah, wah, hey, His boost total being around about 20 man. right now. Love watching the one going to bed. HGZ Enja. Hey, thanks for the kind words, man. Appreciate the 250 bits as well. Glad you're enjoying the content. Are you telling me that it's boring because you're watching it in bed? Did it send you to sleep? Actually, that's not even a problem. You know, if people struggle to sleep and then uh, they can get into slumber using... Oh, look at that wave dash, which already is using one his car. That cheeky little flip reset there. Yeah, you can, if you can use my videos to get to sleep, that's all power to you. Definitely a good idea. He is still struggling for boost. He's been low for quite a long time in game two. Not watched for a few months, Johnny. Monkey Forgot Moon not able to punish him just yet. Is. I think this is, you know, partly due to this not being Monkey Moon's strength. He's not the best at pressuring someone into submission. He's really good at that counter-attack rebound or, you know, a uh, reactive play style. Um, but not the, not the, the best. He's still very capable at it, but not the best at uh, the pressure play that we often see from other players. Yeah, this is still not a bad spot for Monkey to be in. Just a one goal in it. And that is going to be a chance for him that he's going to take straight down the middle. And it's on a counter attack again. He just sat back and looked so much more comfortable defending, reacting, waiting for his moment to strike. And there is the tie game. HDZ, okay, I'm sorry for keeping up late then. I'm uh, not sure that I'm entirely the one to blame <laughs> for that. But cheers to another 250 bits, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, Moss, 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 thanks for five months Prime, glad to have you back as well. Um, and also Stagger Lee McGee, welcome back for two months Prime, appreciate everybody. Monkey Moon does not catch Jorius with the air dribble bump. That is more to do with how well Jorius avoided this one. Great stuff. This Monkey Moon has already seen success with that move earlier on in this show match. Um, Jorius is a tricky one to make contact with. With a little evasion. Um, perfectly timed. Opens up the score line in his favorite again. Monkey Moon. Not really looking too threatening at the near post. Jorias might have a chance as this bounces middle. He backs off just momentarily here. Trying to bait Monkey Moon into the corner to grab that boost. But Monkey Moon's not interested. And maybe he should have been because that's an easy goal for Jorias. You know, if not the boost. And I think Monkey Moon at some point here so glad had to put a challenge in. Exists. You can't let that hit the bar, even if it is going to bounce down, it would be pretty awkward for him. Oh, HTC, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub as well. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to have you. And also, Scream B Machine, thanks for seven months of Tier 1. Much appreciated. Welcome back. Great save by Jorias. This is the best he's looked all series long. He's starting to put together some very difficult to save shots, and that here dribble is so impressive. Monkey Moon need to sit a little bit further back when Jorias is coming at him. You know, everybody else right now might be going for air dribble bumps, but he's just spiraling into the ball and forcing it in straight over the top. So many touches in quick succession. Will he adapt later on into air dribble bumps, air dribble dunks? You know, he's got these in his 
back pocket should he want to switch things up. But right now he's finding a lot of success from just about anywhere. Flicks it in, air dribbles it in, shoots it in. It doesn't really matter. Jorias is he's capable. Um, and Monkey Moon, on the other hand, when he's not counter-attacking, doesn't really look like he's got that much going in offense. Not too much that's going to trouble Jorias, at least, who's very solid in defense as well. Minute left. Monkey Moon on the ball. Again, he's it's relying on a low 50-50. Nothing too creative. Jordi has in and out save for the top corner shot. Huge read by him. Knew Monkey Moon was likely to shoot high on that little chip. Just to force him into the air. Has he missed this one? Yes, he has actually. An open net miss for Jordi is not going to be too consequential by the looks of things. Still not something you want to see. Monkey Moon, flip reset. He's back involved. And you know, maybe... Just maybe that open net miss could come back to haunt Jorias. Monkey Moon puts in his best goal yet. And now he's just a couple of kickoff plays away from a tense ending. Jorias lands better on the first one. Could just waste time here. Decides to go over the top of Monkey Moon's early challenge. Demo from Jorias. Should result in a goal. There is an open net conversion. So he's not going to go into game number three with an open net miss being the last attack that he's attempted. Flight's played Jory at least 12 times today. Was it really that much? What was the overall score? I'm curious. Um, I heard it was very close, but I think Flake, since he started off lower ranked, probably climbed a little bit because when you're playing somebody higher than you, you get more points um, for your wins than they do for beating you. Um, but maybe somebody in chat could inform us what the overall score was. That would be good. So it's turning out to be just as close as we expected. A bit of a role reversal, though, because Monkey Moon had eight saves, I believe, in the first game. Now, we only had one. Um, and the early lead that Jorias was able to get helped him uh, to get that. Uh, given all objects with mass-produced gravity and given the size of his nose, we could deduce that uh, his... Uh, Knows is the reason for so many viewers gravitate to him. Thank you, hypocritical paradox. Hey guys, Brian here. Very astute you observation. Know that you can subscribe for free with Twitch Prime. That's cool, Pretty man. Cool, huh? Very cool. Also, Johnny, when are you gonna start paying me a amount? Brian, I I do pay you. You live for free in the basement, um, like just chilling, 24/7. I mean, is it is it even a job? Like most people wouldn't even call it a job. Just reading out the messages uh, that people send from donations, because the messages are such high quality, it's actually fun to do. Majority is looking like a freestyler with this air dribble takeoff. Monkey Moon's not going to be fooled by that one. Didn't have the same speed as his successful air dribble attempt from earlier. Oh dear though, Monkey Moon. A little bit out of position there, and Jory is starting to get a lot of momentum going in his favor. Strong game two overall. And a great start in game number three. It's not a bad open net as well, but the ball be so close to him. The flick was a really good way to accelerate it up to speed. Now, Jory is not even coming back for this. He knows Monkey Moon's probably going to put that one in. Jory is not happy with his kickoff there. He's way off to the left. Yeah, Jory is just very good at air dribbles. Monkey Moon's going to have to adapt his usual air dribble defensive positioning. If he wants to stop them, he's going to sit a little bit further back. Um, because Jorya is not really going for too many air dribble bumps until now. There is the switch up. I mean, I talked about this in the last game. Is he going to mix it up after showing his hand over and over again? And now he will. Before Monkey Moon can react, there is the demo by Jorya. And the difference there is Monkey Moon has sat on the ground for longer. He doesn't pre-jump in anticipation of a straight up, uh, or uh, he doesn't, you know, pre-jump in anticipation of the air dribble bump. He doesn't make a beeline for the goal. It's going to be the same thing for Monkey Moon though. They're just going back and forth with such difficult shots to defend. And Monkey Moon's back with than one. So it's, we might be entering a bit of a rock, paper, scissors here um, with you know air dribbles, beating defenders who are just sitting down on the ground waiting for the air dribble bump to come in. Uh, air dribble bumps, beating uh, defenders that are going up too early. And then you've got the just the mind games and the dunks to beat players who are not building up enough momentum. We'll wait and see which one 
Jory decides to go for next. This is just going to be an open net conversion. Nice wave dash recovery. Monkey Moon made it pretty easy for Jory as there. Thought he could sneak in there and get an opening for the clear, but Jory is just too quick. Monkey Moon should know by now that if Jory is near the ball, he's probably going to start moving towards it without too much delay. It's great control off the wall by Jory is. Reacted perfectly to the ball not being the feels when um, the on the wall when threshold. he arrived. Thanks for all the great content over yeah, the critical years. paradox. I had you covered. I knew you'd feed it. I just read it out myself. Cheers to the 250. There you have the the threshold. Um, yeah, HDZ. Thanks for informing everybody that you can subscribe for free with Twitch Prime as well. That is that's honestly huge. I should employ you to read my uh, what do you call it my uh, messages. Although saying that, I'll. Uh, gladly say that Brian is just a way better sellout than I could ever be. Like, he's so shameless with it. I don't know how I could ever live up to that level. Sorry, is. is he really going to make this 6-2 here? Yes, he is. And his counterattacks have not been too difficult to secure. He's just given another goal here by Monkey Moon. some for us, bros. I like your streams, I like your gusts, but most of all, I like your ass. Well, Brian, you're rude, man. I dare you read out that naughty word. Your juice assassination for the uh, six month. <laughs> I don't know why Brian like censors so many other words, but he reads this. <laughs> it's a great dunk by Monkey. A reset. Close range. Got Jorias in a panic. Did they fix Monkey the Man used it as a mind game in underneath him. If so, do you plan on doing any soon? Um, I love to take part. Love from the USA. HTC choose for 250, man. I don't think they've fixed the spectator glitch in tournaments yet. If I'm wrong about that, somebody feel free to correct me. But as far as I'm aware, they have not yet fixed it. I'm thinking about a pinch here. There it is. He made decent contact with it, but it's off target. And it probably would have been too slow to catch Jorias off guard. Jorias probably saw it coming. It was a very uh, straight setup. Slow air dribble from Jorias. He's mixing it up so well with his air dribbles Hello, Brian. this might be the aspect of the game I that I'm most impressed with on him uh, from him rather how is Monkey Moon supposed to know what Jordias has planned, one air dribbles rocket in over his shoulder as fast as possible the next one's slow rolled, the next one's got a dunk following it and then there's always air dribble bumps to go for as well I swear Jordias could probably win an entire game at high level with the, without doing anything except air dribbles with this kind of mix up how is the defender supposed to know what he's got planned? Not the best touch there by Jarius. Doesn't give himself time to get the boost before Monkey Moon's coming at him. And there's an easy goal for Monkey. Jarius is going to be kicking himself there. He had a chance to hit that ball to a proper safe location. Um, but he just dropped it short. Monkey Moon's still keeping this one competitive. Double effects for 14 months here, one. Really appreciate that. Sorry, is. You think he's going to be one to remember it's Call Me Joe? Yeah, he certainly could be. Um, certainly could be. He's got the mechanics um, and he's got the 1v1 IQ. There's no doubt about that. The only question is, does he have the you know, the mindset and the dedication? We're, we're going to find out today if he's got the mindset to play well at the end of a series. Because we've seen plenty of Game 5s, Game 4s. You know, the, the business end of series looking very different for debut players in the past and just newer players in general. Right now, Jorius is looking pretty solid. You know, there have been a few misplays, but nothing too glaring. A bit late on the drop of the ball for that 50-50. Jorius is comfortable in defense again. Monkey Moon is trying to posture aggressively to force Jorius to misplay, but Jorius is responding well to this pressure. Threatens a bump and forces Monkey Moon into the middle of the field. No fast attack for Monkey Moon. Feels his wave dash, but still gets it towards the center. We're inside the final minute now, and Jorias is still looking solid. He's got Monkey Moon under control here. The Monkey Moon does steal a boost, and that might make things awkward. It's one for Jorias. Side clip shot goes wide. Monkey Moon doesn't have an easy way to control that ball. Jorias is very good at noticing when there's a chance to move in and just take a ball for free. A little fake clear into recovery catch from Jorias. He's going to waste even more time from Monkey Moon. What is Monkey Moon's answer here? I think he would love to go for an air dribble bump if he could find a spot to set one up, but he just doesn't have the space. 
It's all going into the center. Very, very easy to read for Jorias. And I think that's good to speak game. There's no way for Monkeyman to score two goals. Jorias has done it two times in a row. And he's starting to look like the favorite here. After game one, I was a bit worried that he wasn't going to perform to his best ability. But now, everything is going right for him. Again, more saves from Jorias. Monkeyman not able to stop as many as uh, he did in game number one. So Jorias went five games, five wins, five losses against Flakes in rank today. That's pretty good. I mean, both those guys were streaming uh, those games. So if you want to check them out, just go to Jorias' Twitch channel or Flakes' Twitch channel. You can catch both their perspectives of the matches. Um, they'll be right now, uh, well, as you're, as, if you're watching this live, um, it'll be Flakes and Jorias' most recent Twitch VOD. Um, but if you're not, it is the one from the 20th of July. That's when this is being streamed. So definitely check those Boy, games out. I'm sure they're worth a the watch. Um, and yeah, they were both both streaming, so no advantages or disadvantages there. In terms of concentration, it's pretty even playing field. So Monkey Moon, low boost, but on the ball. Flicks it over. Jari as he's trying to punish Monkey for being the slower player here. Um, he kind of hesitated on the way in. A lot of hesitation, actually. Twice. Kind of a half-hearted fake challenge. And then turns around when it's way too late. Animal Noise, thanks for the two month prime. We've also got Saxophone for the three month prime. And Freddy Mushboy for the seven month prime. Welcome back, everybody. Appreciate you guys swinging into the stream today. Jorias doesn't make contact, but Monkey Moon also misses the ball. Jorias looking for a piece of Monkey Moon. I think he was trying to dodge into him, but the dodge may have just timed out by the time he reached him. Seeing it back again, though, I'm surprised if that was a second and a half is the time between, or the max time between your jump and your uh, dodge in RL. Sorry, this is looking quite comfortable, I must say. Monkey Moon has got to change something up if he wants to retake control of this game. Jory is with a great shot on the turn. Monkey Moon can only accelerate it into his own net. That's a fantastic effort. Look at the takeoff by Jory is. Did he actually use the fact that his rear uh, wheels suspension hadn't fully depressed yet it was still um, sitting low on the ground that kicked the front wheels of his car up really high on the takeoff backflip flick after a reset he's hit the ball way into the crossbar though it's recovery by Jordi yes, but Monkey Moon is coming at him on a counter and you know what that means Monkey Moon's strength and he catches it out of this flip reset fake rolls it into the bottom corner brilliant by Monkey Moon he is just so much better when he's got a full length of a field to dribble with. Completely different player. Uh, BC Dude, thanks for doing a bit. I haven't caught your live stream in a while. Glad to be here. Shout out to Brandon watching this later on YouTube. Well, there you go. Cheers, uh, cheers BC Dude, for swinging by to Twitch. Shout out to Brandon and everybody else who's watching later on YouTube. Great save by Jorias. Monkey Moon is going to put it in on the second try, though. Mind game to secure the goal. Great landing as well. You know, Jorias has kind of faked himself there. Monkey Moon played a safe line. I don't think that there was any way for Jorias to really dominate that challenge. But he could have dodged into the ball. There's no denying that. If he just dodged into the ball, he would block the fake and the potential shot at the same time. Mechanics are still looking so clean, though, for Jorias. Look at the speed. Look at the moves. Three all. Monkey Moon. Trying to get it past him, but Jordi has dunks him. Wave dash recovery. And he's just going to get there in time. I'm loving these little single jump challenges. Wave dash on the landing. I've seen plenty of that on kickoffs recently, but not so much on 50-50s. Jordi has reads Monkey well. This is a great turnover for him. He's got so much space to work with. Monkey Moon is still recovering. And a huge flick by Jordi has his best one yet by a mile. How on earth does he manage this from close range? Here rolling backwards into it. I think this is the preferred way to set up this shot these days. You don't need to change the way your joystick's facing. Just keep it in that position. Build up the momentum and then let loose. What a change up we've had uh, from, you know, old debut players who used to be struggling when it got to the final stages. Now, everybody seems to be popping off. We had Chronic and Com recently 
win in their debut matches. Now Jorias looks like he's set to do the same against Monkey Moon, no less. Someone who's been very impressive on stream ever since he made the switch from PS4 as well. Even before, actually, Monkey Moon was the best PS4 player. No questions asked. Jorias' defense is absolutely insane right now. And if you had, you know, turned off the nameplate and asked me which one of these players is Jardia's, which one is Monkey Moon, I would have got it wrong. I would have said that has to be Monkey Moon who's making all these saves and hitting these counter attacks every time, but it's Jardia's. He's been the player towards the tail end of the series who's getting those clutch saves and successful counter attacks that are usually synonymous with Monkey Moon. Um, nice bathroom, thanks for thousand bits. Hi YouTube, don't forget to use the Twitch Prime subscription. Thanks for everything you do, Johnny. Cheers to that. Hey, Johnny. A little reminder. Really oh dear, Johnny is. The There's a blunder, you know. Manfield it's Knight not over yet. Winter again. Yeah, I definitely want to get another Manfield Knight 5k on the go this uh, this winter. Maybe get it started up. Uh, get recording started up for it in October or something. I want to do EU, NA, and then also the World Finals, but I don't know how to set up the World Finals yet. We'll have to figure it out. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Nice flick by Jordi Asma. Kimmin's already prepared on the back wall for it. He's kept his boost. I mean, Jordi is just going to be stealing it. Jordi is just going to adapt this little air dribble into a dunk because he knows there's no real option for him to play that offensively. Jordi is with an air shot. Top corner just off target. He's turned around the faster the two players and he puts it in the other top corner. What a shot by Jordi is actually the same top corner as uh, the previous shot. Both these aerial shots have a lot of venom on them. The Monkey Moon's got to up the pace here if he wants to have a chance. Uh, Harmonic Waffle, thanks for three months prime, you're welcome. Um, I'll try and keep it up. And also Watermelon Duck 1-1, thanks for the brand new prime. That's a fantastic name. Is it Auto Generator? Did you come up with that yourself? So Monkey Moon keeps us within one. Jabogli, thanks for 11 month tier one, welcome back. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Great job at DreamHack last month. Thank you, Brian. You make the RL streams extremely entertaining. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. I mean, when I when I was talking to one of my uh, I was talking to Yummy Cheese Man, my caster buddy, recently, he told me that he couldn't remember anything that I'd said at DreamHack. And I was like, yeah, that's that's totally fair. That same, to be honest, I don't remember any of my moments. <laughs> like, I'm not a very moment-based caster. I don't have those uh, epic one-liners like uh, someone like Shogun does. Uh, but I think overall, I, 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 you know, I just have a decent, um, how would I describe it? Just a chilled, chilled out, you know, keep up uh, the audience's interest rate <laughs> sort of style. Uh, that's, you know, that's what I try to do. Hopefully we can keep it up uh, going into more events in the future. Seb H14, thanks to the new sub, or actually resub seven months. Daria is going to get an easy air dribble here. What on earth has Monkey been done on this one. Oh dear, oh dear. He's just read it completely wrong. Turns the wrong way. Way too slow. And Jordi is looking like he might get the win here in his debut match. Great control on the face off. Monkey Moon's going to sneak in for a boost grab. That is very important. Jordi is trying to steal it. Monkey Moon's looking for a demo, but Jordi is too quick for him. Over 30 seconds left. Yo, listen, Brian, that was pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Monkey Moon is already on the back wall of his goal. He made contact with this ball. Can't get the dunk, though, onto Jorias. He will trip him up. The boost miss means he has to go back for it. Does Monkey Moon have what it takes to get the comeback? There is a nice double touch, and that's a good start. 19 seconds left. Monkey Moon's not quite done. It looked like he had messed up the approach. There was a boost miss. He had to go back for it. The takeoff was a little bit sideways, but... He made it work, and that's all that matters. Can Monkey Moon win a kickoff and take us into an interesting ending here? Looks like he is indeed going to do just that. It's a tight angle shot. Monkey Moon smashes it in. Oh, my word. What a goal. Jordi has tried to get underneath this one just to pop it off to the side. Surely he didn't think Monkey Moon was going to be scoring from that angle. Now he's got 14 seconds left to confirm that this series is, in fact, scripted. Can he manage it? It's a kickoff win for Jordias. It's in Monkey Moon's half, and also Jordias has the boost advantage, but he backs off. Monkey Moon 
Looking for the bump. He's got it. The ball's off target, though. I don't think he can fit it in. Monkey Moon tried to get another goal from an air dribble bump, but he forgot to shoot the ball on net. GG's. Jorias takes it 3-1 in his on-stream debut. Brilliant stuff uh, from him in his first ever match on stream. Oh, my goodness. I thought Monkey was going to do it. When, it. when he had that ball in top of his car, I, I knew... That Jorias was probably not going to challenge. I thought Jorias is going to back off here. He's going to give Monkey Man a chance to shoot. And that's really bad, actually. <laughs> Don't want to give Jorias, or Monkey Man a chance to shoot there. But it worked out. Monkey Man popped it off target. Jorias says, try out to all the PS4 homies uh, who always supported me um, in chat. In case anybody's watching a mobile and they can't read that. So, yes, the PS4 players are starting to switch over. They're all starting to dominate. Starling RL90, thanks for the year of prime subbing. Welcome back, buddy. I uh, really appreciate that. Um, before we uh, leave this lobby, just want to remind you all again to check out Jorias on Twitch. Uh, he is streaming on Twitch quite a lot these days. Is it just Jorias underscore? I'm looking in the chat right now. Everybody's saying at Jorias underscore. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So that's the that's the name. You can see it on screen. Um, if you want to go give him a follow, I don't think he's streaming right now. But uh, yeah, he, he's been streaming quite a bit recently. Um, GG's. Very interesting series. So Jardia's went five games, five wins, five losses against Flakes in rank today. That's pretty good. I mean, both those guys were streaming uh, those games. So if you want to check them out, just go to Jardia's Twitch channel or Flakes Twitch channel. You can catch both their perspectives of the matches. Um, they'll be right now, uh, well, as you're, as you're, if you're watching this live, um, it'll be Flakes and Jardia's most recent Twitch VOD. Um, but if you're not, it is the one from the 20th of July. That's when this is being streamed. So definitely check those Boy, games out. I'm sure they're worth a watch. Um, and yeah, they were both both streaming, so no advantages or disadvantages there. In terms of concentration, it's pretty even playing field. So Monkey Moon, low boost, but on the ball. Flicks it over. Jardy as he's trying to punish Monkey for being the slower player here. Um, he kind of hesitated on the way in. A lot of hesitation, actually. Twice. Kind of a half-hearted fake challenge. And then turns around when it's way too late. Animal Noise, thanks for the two month prime. We've also got Saxophone for the three month prime. And Freddy Bushboy for the seven month prime. Welcome back, everybody. Appreciate you guys swinging into the stream today. Jorias doesn't make contact, but Monkey Moon also misses the ball. Jorias looking for a piece of Monkey Moon. I think he was trying to dodge into him, but the dodge may have just timed out by the time he reached him. Seeing it back again, though, I'm surprised if that was a second and a half is the time between, or the max time between your jump and your uh, dodge in RL. Sorry, this is looking quite comfortable, I must say. Monkey Moon has got to change something up if he wants to retake control of this game. Jorius with a great shot on the turn. Monkey Moon can only accelerate it into his own net. That's a fantastic effort. Look at the takeoff by Jorius. Did he actually use the fact that his rear uh, wheels suspension hadn't fully depressed yet it was still um, sitting low in the ground that kicked the front wheels of his car up really high on the takeoff backflip flick after a reset he's hit the ball way into the crossbar though it's recovery by Jorias but Monkey Moon is coming at him on a counter and you know what that means Monkey Moon's strength and he catches it out of this flip reset fake rolls it into the bottom corner brilliant by Monkey Moon he is just so much better when he's got a full length of a field to dribble with. Completely different player. Uh, BCG, thanks for doing a bit. I haven't got your live stream in a while. Glad to be here. Shout out to Brandon watching this later on YouTube. Well, there you go. Cheers, uh, cheers BCG for swinging by to Twitch. Shout out to Brandon and everybody else who's watching later on YouTube. Great save by Jorias. Monkey Moon is going to put it in on the second try though. Mind game to secure the goal. Great landing as well. You know, Jorias has kind of faked himself there. Monkey Moon played a safe line. I don't think that there was any way for Jorias to really dominate that challenge. But he could have dodged into the ball. There's no denying that. If he just dodged into the ball, he would block the fake and the potential shot at the same time. Mechanics are still looking so clean, though, for Jorias. Look at the speed. Look at the moves. Three all. Monkey Moon. Trying to get it past him, but Jardia has dunks him. Wave dash recovery. 
and he's just going to get there in time. I'm loving these little single jump challenges, wave dash on the landing. Seen plenty of that on kickoffs recently, but not so much on 50-50s. Jarius reads Monkey well. This is a great turnover for him. He's got so much space to work with. Monkey Moon is still recovering. And a huge flick by Jarius. His best one yet by a mile. How on earth does he manage this from close range? Air rolling backwards into it. I think this is the preferred way to set up this shot these days. You don't need to change the way your joystick's facing. Just keep it in that position. Build up the momentum and then let it loose. What a change up we've had uh, from, you know, old debut players who used to be struggling when it got to the final stages. Now, everybody seems to be popping off. We had Chronic and Com recently winning their debut matches. Now, Jordias looks like he's set to do the same against Monkey Moon, no less. Someone who's been very impressive on stream ever since he made the switch from PS4 as well. Even before, actually, Monkey Moon was the best PS4 player. No questions asked. Jordias' defense is absolutely insane right now. And if you had, you know, turned off the nameplate and ask me which one of these players is Jardia's, which one is Monkey Moon, I would have got it wrong. I would have said that has to be Monkey Moon who's making all these saves and hitting these counter attacks every time, but it's Jardia's. He's been the player towards the tail end of the series who's getting those clutch saves and successful counter attacks that are usually synonymous with Monkey Moon. Um, nice bathroom, thanks for thousand bits. Hi YouTube, don't forget to use the Twitch Prime subscription. Thanks for everything you do, Johnny. Cheers to that. Hey John, a little reminder. Really oh dear, there is. The There's a blunder, you know. Manfield it's Night not over yet. Winter again. Yeah, I definitely want to get another Manfield Night 5K on the go this uh, this winter. Maybe get it started up. Uh, get recording started up for it in October or something. I want to do EU, NA, and then also the World Finals, but I don't know how to set up the World Finals yet. We'll have to figure it out. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Nice flick by Jordias. Monkey Moon's already prepared on the back wall for it. He's kept his boost. I knew Jordias was going to be stealing it. Jordias is going to adapt this little air dribble into a dunk because he knows there's no real option for him to play that offensively. Jordias with an air roll shot. Top corner just off target. He's turned around the faster the two players and he puts it in the other top corner. What a shot by Jordias. It's actually the same top corner as uh, the previous shot. Both these air roll shots have a lot of venom on them. The Monkey Moon's got to up the pace here if he wants to have a chance. Uh, Harmonic Waffle, thanks for three months prime. You're welcome. Um, I'll try and keep it up. And also Watermelon Duck 1-1. Thanks for the brand new prime. That's a fantastic name. Is it auto-generated? Did you come up with that yourself? So Monkey Moon keeps us within one. Jabogli, thanks for 11 months tier one. Welcome back. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Great job at DreamHack last month. Thank you, Brian. You make the RL streams extremely entertaining. Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. I mean, when I when I was talking to one of my... Uh, I was talking to Yummy Cheese Man, my caster buddy, recently. He told me that he couldn't remember anything that I'd said at DreamHack. And I was like, yeah, that's that's totally fair. That same, to be honest. I don't remember any of my moments. <laughs> like, I'm not a very moment-based caster. I don't have those uh, epic one-liners like uh, someone like Shogun does. Uh, but I think overall, I, 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 you know, I just have a decent, um, how would I describe it? Just a chilled, chilled out, you know, keep up uh, the audience's interest rate <laughs> sort of style. Uh, that's, you know, that's what I try to do. Hopefully we can keep it up uh, going into more events in the future. Seb H14, thanks to the new sub, or actually resub seven months. Daria is going to get an easy air dribble here. What on earth is Monkey Moon? Done on this one. Oh dear, oh dear. He's just read it completely wrong. Turns the wrong way. Way too slow. And Jordi is looking like he might get the win here in his debut match. Great control on the face off. Monkey Moon's going to sneak in for a boost grab. That is very important. Jordi is just trying to steal it. Uh, Monkey Moon's looking for a demo, but Jordi is too quick for him. For 30 seconds left. Yo, listen, Brian, that was pretty impressive, not going to lie. Monkey Moon is already on the back wall of his goal. He made contact with this ball. Can't get the dunk, though, onto Jorias. He will trip him up. The boost miss. 
means he has to go back for it. Does Monkey Moon have what it takes to get the comeback? There is a nice double touch, and that's a good start. 19 seconds left. Monkey Moon's not quite done. It looked like he had messed up the approach. There was a boost miss. He had to go back for it. Takeoff was a little bit sideways, but he made it work, and that's all that matters. Can Monkey Moon win a kickoff and take us into an interesting ending here? Looks like he is indeed going to do just that. It's a tight angle shot. Monkey Moon smashes it in. Oh my word. What a goal. Charlie has tried to get underneath this one just to pop it off to the side. Surely he didn't think Monkey Moon was going to be scored from that angle. Now he's got 14 seconds left to confirm that this series is in fact scripted. Can he manage it? It's a kickoff win for Jorias. It's in Monkey Moon's half and also Jorias has the boost advantage but he backs off. Monkey Moon looking for the bump. He's got it. The ball's off target though. I don't think he can put it in. Monkey Moon tried to get another goal from an air dribble bump. But he forgot to shoot the ball on net. GG's. Jorias takes it 3-1 in his on-stream debut. Brilliant stuff uh, from him in his first ever match on stream. Oh my goodness, I thought Monkey was going to do it. When, it. when he had that ball on top of his car, I, I knew that Jorias was probably not going to challenge. I thought Jorias is going to back off here. He's going to give Monkey Man a chance to shoot. Um, and that's really bad, actually. <laughs> Don't want to give Jorias or Monkey Man a chance to shoot there. 